What's going on, guys? What's going on? This is Hot Diet 7 RCT Gaming. If you guys can give me just a little bit, because I'm setting up my laptop here so I can follow up on the chat. But we are almost ready to go. <clears throat> I hope you guys don't mind I'm still running a little bit of a cold and yeah I might not have the most sexy voice right now Almost there guys, almost there. there. I gotta make this dark. Let's see what we got here. Alright. So we got this going at last. Let's get this going. Today in the Castlevania Bloodlines or Castlevania Marathon, we're going to go with uh, Bloodlines and Circle of the Moon. I'm a bit, ah, got my coat going on because, or my hoodie, my warm hoodie because it's freaking cold where I'm at, no heater on for some reason, I'm not going to go into that, um, but yeah, uh, this time around though, I'm going to be using, instead of my Hyper Pie, I'm going to be using the CoinOps Arcadia 3 Plus, since it has basically the two games that I'm going to be showing off, and it has nice little bezels and stuff to make it look even better. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, really. I'm still a bit out there with the cold. Um, but, yeah, let's go. Let's go into this right away. Let's go into the Bloodlines. The Sega Genesis uh, version, 16-bit version of Castlevania. That's going to be the first one we're going to go for today. Then we're going to jump into basically... The Game Boy Advance version, or one of the many versions, that one uh, kind of goes separates itself from the from the mainline Let ones in the sense that it's not the linear stages uh, Castlevania that we uh, know and love from the NES um, up to this point, and even the SNES, which I'm not going to mention where it's going to fall within the marathon, but yeah, this one the Game Boy Advance one goes into the Metroidvania territory. Um, but both games today are amazing in their own right. So as you can see, I'm supporting the new Quinox Arcadia 3 Plus. And this one. Let's go right in here. Now, 
I'm going to be running it with uh, scan lines. Scan lines, but not the glass effects because it kind of the glass effects that leads for streaming. <coughs> Makes it a little bit too too dark, I taste. But it plays, it looks and plays amazing. Now, hopefully the chat will be working without any issues. just sets the tone. that I would want to fix I doubt it very much yeah no I think this is should I add more players though just to extend that okay let's go on the safe side and let's add some no don't change the controls the controls are perfect there you go
Freaking lemon. Escape that one with the skin of my teeth. Come on, man, where's the hidden? That's that. was a good call raising the, the amount of lives to five. <clears throat> but I would have cleared this place if not for messing up. I need to get out of here as quick as possible. see from the broken wall here on the left side, I missed getting one of those health reserves, or as you know them, pot rolls or whatever the hell. It was in health. I am so screwed. I am so screwed. That was a stupid move. That was such a stupid move. But okay. I will survive this. <clears throat> now let's go boss, boss. Have no special weapon though. The cheap hits, god damn it. Fucking back. No special weapon. Yeah. I can't believe it. Four, four lives just for that. Food. 
Yes! The fucking pot rose. This desperately is because, yeah, I am playing desperately. chance I don't see it is because I'm playing full screen versus what I used to do back in the day which is play like in a little window but I'm trying something else where I have to use two computers and basically what I'm doing is I am streaming on one on my main computer <coughs> full screen and I have my gaming laptop my left side where I check where I check the chat. So if you guys drop a message I will be looking there. Why doesn't this holy water here is crap. There is some bullshit. The fact that you find something hidden and it gives you a little, a little, uh, a little bit of time where it starts blinking and then it just simply goes away. That's bullshit. If you bother uh, finding these hidden things. Two continues. Oh, so nice. Okay. I'm not even going to bother with Do not stop whatsoever. There we go. Wahaha. I love the twangy music. This, this right here, this one of uh, my favorite weapons, at least from this version. It just works. Oh my god! The guy has a, the guy has an attitude.
Get out of there. Come on, you got this. Get out of there. Damn it. Really? Holy shit. This has to be like the first boss. And I'm struggling to show that. with five lives, six lives, and a continue was the first stage. <laughs> I am so great. My skills are so good. And you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with the freaking password. Screw that. Tune in. Who, by any chance, decide to tune in? Let's see if I can bring up my Twitter. One second, guys. Let me see if I can. See if that does the trick. But yeah, as expected, no one is showing up. Ah, it's cool. All right. <coughs> now this is this effect right here. I know back in the day it impressed the hell out of me. The thing with the reflection in the water was really nice. Shame that I have to die so badly in there. You 
gotta be kidding me. Really? <laughs> Do I really want to play this game? Do I really want to play this game? That I go so far as to simply jump in the water. No! Bent. Oh shit, I'm dead. 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 And I'm not. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Look at that. With just a sliver. A sliver. Ready? Well, guys, last continue. Here we go. Last continue. This is going to be it. I 
him? I have no idea. I'm not gonna start asking dumbass questions. What's up, Rafi? ¿Qué pasa? You got me here about to end this one, dude. I'm down to my last continue. Come on. I hope you guys are doing great, man. Thanks for dropping by. I'm gonna go into the Game Boy Advance one. In a, in a little while. Because I remember I, I I loved this back in the day because I think Castlevania was like great but to be honest I'm not in the camp that this is the best one or none of that crap. I know a lot of people love this one and think that this is like the best 16 bit one but I'm not one of those. A lot of people praise this one for being difficult. I just think it's cheap in a lot of parts. And of course, just to be an asshole, let's bring another one. Tell me that that was the last live, please. Nope. Oh yeah. Hold it, hold it, con cojones. Pero mira esto. Estos pendejos no son ni siquiera mini voces porque. Que actúan como mini voces pero no te dan energía o no te dan algún poder después que tú los matas estos pendejos son sub bosses que te quitan un montón de vida y energía mira este mira este mira. si no lo mata a tiempo me ahoga so all in all is yeah it's it's cool and everything and they have like their specific pattern but this one does not really Eh, it's good. I have to admit it. It is good. But it's not like the be all that all. Um, with that said, this graphy right here is a Coin Ops um, Arcadia 3 Plus, which I'm using to, to play these. But right now, we need to get into Game Boy Advance. So we can start. Now, I had the stream was going to be... I haven't even played it an hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start 
gonna start this one at around maybe 12:30 ish. I'll take a break and then come back. I set out to have like four hours of stream or three hours of stream just to give each game a chance, like to play them enough because usually before like in, in the videos, my YouTube videos, I play them for a little very short while and it's not enough for a lot of people to see the, like, the meat of the game. Oh, the music. Now remember guys, we still got another stream on the 13th, I think, no, it's not the 13th, today's the 10th. The 14th, I think, the 20 something, and then the 31st. And each one will have increasingly better Castlevanias, with the last one being my two favorite um, of all time Castlevanias. And at least one of them you're gonna agree with me. The other one is a little divisive because a lot of people like. But you're going to agree that they're the best, though. Now, the advantage of playing these types, even though I'm not playing them in order because I'm supposed to play like Rondo of Blood, Hint Hint, and I'm supposed to play uh, Symphony of the Night, and then after that, we play these. But, like I said, I wanted to make it where they're not necessarily in order, but uh, if they have an order, it's order of preference over anything. So, do I have a, a data selected already? Do I have like a file? I can't remember. Yes, I do, actually. But let's start. We should start. Let's start a little bit. So at the very least, even if I suck playing, at least you'll see that I'm using a new file. I'm not using any kind of cheats or any bullshit like that. Now, believe it or not, Rafi, this is Gabo texting me. All right. Camila, we crave the president. Uh, let's wake up the darkness. Let's wake up Dracula. There you go. There's Gabo. Gabo, what's up, guy? Aquí, uh, yeah, actually, Rafi is the other one, Kiddo Cat, on the, on the chat. Nice to have you guys here, man. Thanks for making it. I had to do this, guys, even though, you know, because last time around I did a retrospective, but hardly anybody saw that, and I put a lot of work into that. Many, many videos playing and talking about each game. And this year I said, you know what, instead of making a remake of all of that, or a rehash, I might as well stream it. That way I have fun, I don't have to worry about editing, or putting overlays, or creating these arts and stuff. And I also get to show off the coin ops Arcadia that I've been playing as of late. So yeah. So I hope you guys are doing well. Again, uh, Gabo, thanks for, for uh, getting in touch and stuff. I know I, I've seen you a couple of times around there on, on Twitter with some posts, some really funny posts, and 
I just can't help it. I have to, like, add in my two cents as well. Okay. So this is the part where Dracula basically shits on our heroes. And we have to start from the very beginning. Now, in the beginning, I was streaming, and I really didn't have... I had, like, let's say too much time in my hands because I allocated, like, three or four hours for each volume of the Castlevania Marathon. And in the beginning with the NES games, that time is too much. You really don't need that much time because they're going to end quick. Either you're going to die or you're going to be a badass and finish from beginning to end, which is very unlikely. But the thing is that with starting with this game, now the time is going to have a very good use because these play more as a RPG. So yeah, these are going to need the time. Except for the last two, which again, hint hint, the last two, they're the best, but they're not like this. So I'm going to leave to you to decide which are those two my favorites that I'm going to be playing on Halloween. That's going to be a little meta game within my streams. Don't feel bad, prototype. Don't feel bad because I'm with a, with a fucking cold dude and I have like this abscess in my leg that I, that, that kind of burst like last week and it's still bleeding and it's it's a mess and I just didn't want to get up. I knew I had to do the stream and I'm like oh my god why can't this stream be tomorrow but in the end you know I made the promise I don't like to be like rescheduling and stuff so I said let's do it. All right. So we have our hero here, and immediately, after playing the Genesis one, and going from that one to this one, the first thing you feel, the character is light. He's super light. It's like immediate. And then the whip. Automatically, you have a badass whip that on its own is already lengthy. You don't need to make it longer. You go in here and you have the card system, you have the items, you have so much stuff to work with. And this, to be honest, this is one of the, well, this is the first one that actually came out, I remember. And it's the most simple one out of all the, the Castlevanias on the Game Boy Advance. I don't know, I might, since this has a, a, a save file, I might at one point... If it's still early, I might put on uh, Aria of Sorrow, because Aria of Sorrow, on its own right, it's amazing as well. And of course, you have Dawn of Sorrow, which came out for the DS, that was a sequel to that one. They're both nice, really good games. Now the first thing in any Castlevania that you need to do like right away is find that fucking save point. Hey Aaron, what's up? Didn't notice, I got the laptop here on my side and I checked the chat and there you are. Uh, yeah, this one, this one is the first of the Game Boy Advance iterations. I just came out or it came off of playing the, the Genesis one, the Bloodlines. It handed it handed me my ass, so yeah, I used all the continues. Because that one is uh, a little difficult. Not my favorite of the series, Bloodlines, but it's it's amazing. And it's bloody and it's dark and it's really it fits the, the whole theme of uh, Castlevania. I got my first card. Now this is the first one of the Game Boy Advance. The other one Aria of Sorrow, that one is pretty badass. That one, they kind of like up the ante with uh, the graphics and music and stuff. 
but this one is badass on its own right. This I I, I kind of feel this one is like a Symphony of the Night mini. You know, not quite up there as Symphony of the Night, but it tries its best. Of course, we got a little homage there to Simon with the whip. Now you are in my way, and I want no oh, I'm not I don't want to get poisoned. Yeah, that spin is badass dude. I mean you you, you can't mess around with the with the whip like in Another Castlevania that I don't know I like very much. I'm not gonna say too much. But I know the safe point is not around here, is it? It is! Yes! Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save since you guys are here. I wanna take the opportunity. I'm right here, right? I saved it. Now, I'm going to back out. Now this right here, guys, this is... This is uh, Coin Ops Arcadia 3 Plus. And you can choose here from... I'm playing like this one right here is the consoles. This one right here is just for shoot em ups. I'm not gonna go from A to Z because it's too much. You got fighting games here, which has everything. Everything on the arcade side, of course. And of course it has, uh, yeah, it's on the arcade side. Then you have the run and gun. You have the beat em ups, all separate. And then you have these, which are uh, the classics, quote unquote. And what we're playing right now is the consoles, which if I switch around here, go all the way to advance. But there's GameCube, Genesis, which I was playing. So let's go back to the Castlevania. Now, I'm playing Circle of the Moon. We have Aria of Sorrow. Which the one I, I'm telling you that the, the follow up is on DS, which is Dawn of Sorrow. And then you have Harmony of Dissonance, which is also amazing. Amazing freaking soundtrack. Just listen to that music. Crazy, crazy music. But, anyways, I just wanted to stop there uh, so you guys can get a look at. Uh, at the front end that I'm using for these games today because I kind of, you know, I, I, I was using the Hyper Pie, but I figured why not since I've been working very closely with the Coin Up guys, why not, you know? So, this one right here is the one that I saved. I can continue right from there where I left it. Weapons. I need to upgrade quickly. Let me see my map. Okay. Did I pick up any items? I know I have the card. 
Yeah, I got the salamander card. I need another one in order to activate like a special one. A special one, yeah. Thank you very much. That is very helpful. But I can't get out through this way, so... Ah, ah, ah. I need to get back to the save. Pronto, pronto, before I get killed again. I mean, before I get killed. Come on, get out of there. I'm going to try and go upward because... Holy crap, I'm telling you I can't, I can't come through this way. Yeah, I'm screwed. I am screwed. I don't have a, a save point to access. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, move, move. Move your ass. There you go. Close. Now that my energy is back to normal, now I can do a little bit of exploring. I need to upgrade my weapons. What I'll do is that since, since I really didn't spend that much time with, uh, with Bloodlines, I, I basically played it like for an hour before I already expended my, my continues. What I'll do is I might, I might throw in a bonus, I might throw in either Dissonance or Aria. Play it for a little bit. Because to be honest, I like more. I like more Aria. I don't know why I chose this one. Maybe because the similarities between this and how Symphony of the Night plays. But if I had to choose, I would say I, Aria and, and the other one, Dissonance, I, I like better. Okay, where am I? can't go this way because there's a huge there's a huge fucking block right in the middle and I don't think I can go upward can I? Any way to go up here? Yeah, there is, but I don't think I'll be able to jump because I still don't have the jump to do that. So I guess my only chance was to go through the other area in the bottom. Ooh, I got more reach now. So this way? No, that's the block. Let's go back. Can 
Mercury. Let's see what we got. Believe me, I'm gonna be here for a while. Okay, so here. Since I'm here, might as well just get a quick recharge. And I'm gonna have to follow to the bottom part of the map see any other place I can go unless I'm missing something yeah this side there we go oh god damn it Even with the dash, I can get up there. So I need something else, either to jump or... I know I'm taking three hits here, but I just want to get out of here. Nothing to equip. That's all I got. There you go. Oh my. Flame on, and I wasn't using it. I probably could use this with the with the box. Let's try it out. Yeah, I mean, Aaron, when you think about it, the series went to hell as soon as it went 3D. Because, okay, the, the Castlevania on the 64, both of them, they were okay, but they weren't good. I mean, that's, that's my opinion, of course, but they really weren't good. And when, they, when, it, when it 
when it was a turn for like to play it uh, PlayStation 2, again they were okay, but it didn't feel like Castlevania anymore. Even even with the, the, the big um, series uh, making it in uh, PlayStation 3, even those weren't. I mean, they were nice. They were nice and everything, and, and it felt like a spin-off. It didn't feel like the real thing. Okay, I'm gonna end it here since I have a save file there that I can continue any any time. And I'm going to go into still 12. It's early. Might as well go and boot up. Let's boot up. Let's boot up dissonance. Harmony of dissonance. Okay. Saludo, saludo. Uh... The account on your smartphone? Which but which one? I don't recognize the, the name though. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Coffee. I gotta, I gotta give it to you there. They focus so much on the whole, oh, the graphics, this, the graphics, that, and trying to make the character, I guess, as cute as possible. Even though the designs have always been kind of like, you know, going for that. But since there wasn't power to show it. Once they started going like PlayStation 2 onward, the focus became on making everything pretty and throwing here and there some stuff, you know, for Castlevania fans like fan service and shit. And it wasn't the same. Even the character, they tied in the character of, uh, what was his name? The guy from, from PlayStation 3 one? That they turned him into a devil, and then the guy, he was like, they tied him to Simon Belmont somehow. It felt tacked on, to be honest. All of these, I remember all of these Castlevanias that came out for the advance, they felt like, somehow like, do we deserve this? I mean, this is a portable at that time. This is a portable, a very small portable, and we're getting so much Castlevania. And it's done, it's, it was, it's amazing. All of these Game Boy Advance, and including the DS, because cannot forget the DS. The DS versions were amazing on its own. A lot of people complained because of the stylus, that it was gimmicky or whatever. It don't matter if it was gimmicky or not, because even if that wasn't there, the game was still fucking crazy amazing. Especially the, the last one that a lot of people didn't play. The, oh my god, what's the name of it? Which has, uh, I think, what was the name of the, the it was a girl, the girl character. And that to me that was a that, that was my favorite on the DS. Super amazing, beautiful music, everything, the ambience, everything. They nailed it on that one. Unfortunately they didn't continue that version on any other modern modern consoles. This one they tried to make it a bit closer to uh, Symphony of the Night in terms of the character and how he moves and the animation and everything. 
So we're not quite, not quite there, but it was so good, you know, at the time that we got it. Yep, they turned evil. No, add a card. Add a card is, of course, from Rondo and from Symphony and from that generation. The one I'm looking for, the name of that character, oh my god, what was it? It felt like a Latin name for some reason. Savior, savior, or some shit like that. I don't know. It, it was a, it was a weird name. Why am I buffering here? I'm checking something real quick here with my connection. Let me let me know, guys, if you're having any uh, lag on, on your part. Like if the stream is not showing up well. Let me know. menu this one looks a little bit more closer to the whole uh, symphony of the night getting a message here okay okay uh, prototype I just got the text here no problem, man. It doesn't matter what account you use as long as, you know, you're having fun and you're here and, you know, no problem. All right. So this one, we have relics, which, of course, we're not going to see yet. But this one, the layout, everything, the music. Well, the music, not so much, but... experience the same thing on our year of sorrow if not I'll just jump by to, uh, jump jump back to the hyper pie because for some weird reason that one started like to like to I don't know starting to weird out like the sound wasn't there let's see if we experience the same thing here which is strange because it never happened to me outside of streaming everything works like right off the bat let's put a little skull here this one with the character Soma Cruz 
way in the future, a lot of people did not like this one because it got away from the whole medieval time Castlevania and it went like to a future setting. I, it, it surprised me, but it, I really enjoyed both games, this one and the sequel. So far, so good. This one is sounding and looking right. And Aaron, to go back to your to your uh, statement or your quote, is not exactly evil. They're going. They they were going more for like. I don't know, like, like, like models or something like that. Like Calvin Klein-ish kind of models to entice. I don't know who the fuck because, to be honest, you know. This one, that right there, that's what made these very special, and it's the fact that now you can actually, you know, possess their powers and use them for your own, giving the, the game a lot of depth, because aside from trying to 100% or over 100% the castle, you had that kind of meta game of trying to collect as m many powers as you can by killing certain enemies. Amazing as well. Again, listen to the music. jazzy music to it. Yeah, that's uh, that's the first one I was uh, I was playing there. Like uh, right after I played Bloodlines, I went straight into Circle of the Moon. Kind of like playing them in order um, with the advance because I wanted to limit, somehow I wanted to limit for each volume or each Thursday, I wanted to keep it with two. Like two, uh, keep them 2D, of course. I don't want to include any other 3Ds in, in uh, this series of, of streams. And uh, But since I have kind of like more time on my hands because the Bloodlines gameplay lasted like for about an hour, maybe less, and since that is continue based and, and you know level based type of game, not like this that plays like an RPG, I ended up playing you know very quick. So I'm, I'm cycling through some of the other Game Boy Advance games uh, because this is kind of like the chance they get. Next week we're next week I'll, I'll let you guys know what is coming for next week. I think you guys are gonna like it. Remember, the best are going to be the last. On Halloween, that one I, I, I intend to have everything ready, like snacks, beer if possible. I'm going to have everything set up, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed. And I'm going to be playing the two best, I said it, best Castlevania games ever. Ever. One of them is still gonna surprise you guys. All right, so let's take control of Soma. As you can see, even the menu screen at this point is looking like really good, really sharp, colorful. Everything is where you want it to be. Like at this point, they had the formula like 
they want they really knew what they wanted to give you guys I have the soul set which is a combination of three different powers one is passive one is active and the other one acts like a, like a, like a special attack or something like that and you have different combinations depending on what enemy powers you have acquired but of course you don't see that until much later in the game until you collected you know the, the powers that you need for that now equipped i'm equipped with only a freaking knife casual clothes and that's about it no items no abilities i don't want to sleep well i want to sleep but i don't want to sleep the game uh configure i have everything where i need it and of course you have that little encyclopedia of information for the enemies and just like symphony of the night again look at the character pose and look at his attack it's almost identical to what you see alucard using in symphony you know his stances is just like that Even the animation is pretty, you know, similar. Even the stage intros are like that. Cut it. Get it. Cut it. It's not gonna cut it. <sighs> I'm getting old. Yep, the double packs. I think they had two versions of those. Short sword. Now. What you don't have is the left hand, right hand thing. You only have just one. because I'm fighting Tiny Devil but what I need to get first is a save point. I 
that's what I was looking for. Now I will, however, need to stop it here. It's already 12.30, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save it here and stop the stream, get a break, and then come back at 1. So I can do a second half. I don't want to make the streams two hours long because then it's a pain to upload to YouTube, all that you know, good stuff. But yeah, Aria of Sorrow, I think I'm going to come back and focus on playing this one. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do it on Hyper Pie or continue there. On Hyper Pie, we can get it done too. Going into handhelds. I love my hyper. This is like freaking. Plenty more games here on the Hyper Pie. But I think I got them on favorites. Do I? Yeah, I do. This is what you were talking about, Aaron. Uh, I, I just limited, because I knew I was going to use Hyper Pie for the Castlevania stuff, so I put in my favorites list all the Castlevanias Circle of the Moon, Harmony of Dissonance, Double Pack. Love Pack has Harmony of Dissonance and Aria of Sorrow. Aria of Sorrow separate. And yeah, that's basically what you have. Let's see how it looks. Or if we can continue it on this side. Now, Loading. Hyper Pie, Loading complete. what you don't have is basically the bezels. You know, you only have the game itself. But you really don't miss much. It's just that it looks so nice, so beautiful with the with the bezel stuff. I need to figure out how to fix that. Again. But I think I will come back to this one at one o'clock. because the music and stuff looks absolutely the way I want it. So there you have it, guys. I'm going to leave it right there. able to see it in two different modes Let's go. so I'm gonna do that guys I hope uh, you can be back with me on the second half of the stream which is gonna be at one o'clock I need to take a break guys uh, need to check some things uh, like I said I'm, I'm not feeling very well I'm kind of stuffy if you can tell so yeah, I'll be back at 1, guys. Thanks a lot for being here. If you can't make it back at 1, I appreciate you being here anyways, you know, and, and dropping by. I understand you got stuff to do, but if you can't make it back, then I'll see you guys at 1 o'clock then.